She's got a job to do, honey. She really does. Yeah, she has a job, okay? I'm sorry, but she does, okay?
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to the Greenfield Village Railroad. For your personal safety, please remain in your seats while the train is in motion. Keep your head, arms, legs, and feet inside the car at all times. Parents, if you're boarded with any little ones, please place yourself on the outside of the road. If that is not practical, make sure they're held or please leave within their reach.
We'll say goodbye to Mike here at Exmouth Planana. So we have to get our journey around the village to the north side at Smith Creek. We're passing by our Susquehanna Plantation, which came from Tidewater, Maryland, originally comprised of 700 acres, and in 1832, the principal crops were corn and tobacco. We're now approaching our Cape Cod windmill. This was built in 1649 and is the last known original structure of its kind left in the United States. If you ever want to try colonial living, our Daggett farmhouse next to it predates the American Revolutionary War. It was built in 1754. If you ever have a chance, stop by. You can go inside and they'll be happy to show you what life was like back in our colonial days.
approaching our Henry Ford Academy. To attend, you must be a resident of Wayne County. It is done on the lottery system, so if your name is John, you're allowed to attend here grades 9 through 12 for free. Ninth grade starts at the Academy next to the museum. The main building here is for grades 10 and 11. Now as we slowly go around the turn, you will find three railroad cars that will be combined into three large classrooms. This is where the seniors finish out their final year. Please wait for that whistle. 